Okay, Renel Martinez, I only have 10 minutes. First, I'm gonna, I don't wanna spend too much time. I promise you, if you're watching this, I will not spoil Infinity War. I saw it. I saw it in IMAX 3D, and I there was reserve seating, and I had to see it in the front. Do not see this movie in the front of an IMAX theater. Do not see it in front of any theater. It's a big movie. It, it deserves the biggest screen, but get the best seating. Wait. Of course, I didn't want to wait because I knew I'd be spoiled. Don't go to IMDb. Don't go to Slash Film. Don't, don't go to Collider. Don't go to any website because everybody's doing spoilers now. While I want to talk about spoilers, I'm going to hold off on talking about it because I wanted to just talk about spoilers because it's already the first week, but I'm sure a lot of you probably didn't get to see the movie or are still waiting, and you know I don't want to be the reason that you get spoiled. But that being said, I think you know what the spoilers are about. I mean, I'm not going to say what they are because everyone's like, oh, there's a spoiler. I have a spoiler for The Hulk. Nothing bad, anything with The Hulk. But... That was the spoiler. That's a spoiler. Oh, look, the Hulk, the trailer, this and that. But something with the Hulk is a spoiler, but that's about it. And everything else is just, whoa, you know, so let's not talk about it. Uh, what did I think about Infinity War? What I'm going to talk about, uh, it's not a spoiler, but Thor is a cool character in this movie. I've always hated Thor. I've always hated Thor. There's a scene, it's not a spoiler, but they mention uh, the Bible, they talk about the Bible. It's simple. They're not the Bible, but someone in the Bible. They kind of make a little joke about someone in the Bible. Not a spoiler. I'm not going to tell you who or what happens. But they talk about the Bible, and you go, aren't there aliens? Isn't Thor from Asgard? Is Like, they got rid of Asgard. Uh, Hela was in Thor Ragnarok. Um, to talk about the next movie, this isn't a spoiler. This, there's nothing spoiler about this, I promise. But Hela died in Thor Ragnarok. In Thor Ragnarok. I'm not talking about Infinity War. Hela was supposed to be Mistress Death. But what they decided to do for Thanos was, uh, if you've seen the trailer, if you haven't seen the trailer, I won't say, but Thanos has a plan that he wants to gather the Infinity Stones in this movie, in Infinity War. And he wants to do something with the Infinity Stones. And basically, that's as far as I'll go. And... They, they, they make it that this person, you know, these Infinity Stones, they, they basically, it's not a spoiler, but they, you know, we look at it and we go, oh, it's kind of like having, you know, Loki's staff or the Mind Stone, like Vision. And, I mean, you really become a god being able to use this Infinity Gauntlet and with the stones. And in the movie, there's a reason that there's the Infinity Gauntlet. You'll see why. I'm not going to spoil it. Because like everything could be spoilers in this movie, and I don't want to give anything away. But in the movie, you'll realize, oh, how did Thanos get the gauntlet? Did he just pick it up somewhere and go, hey, let me just get a golden hand? No, it's explained. But uh, Thor, is, Thor was a cool character because he kind of, I'm not going to say what happened to him, but he goes off and has his own thing, and it's pretty cool. And there's some cool stuff with Thor that I can't talk about. But I was always like, you know, Thor really has evolved in that he's not a god, he's a demigod. And we look at him and we go, how far would he go to kill Thor? How far, like what can kill him? I guess guns don't kill him. I guess, like what can kill this guy? So that's kind of the same thing with Hulk is that you, you know, you, you know, it's, it's hard to explain, but if you're a human being, if you're, if you're Black Widow, if you're Iron Man, if you're Spider-Man, well, not Spider-Man, maybe not Spider-Man, but you wonder, how far does it go? How far is it going to, like, how far, if you're so strong you can punch, you know, a planet, why is it that when you punch a person, they're not automatically dead? If I was to take a train, and that train runs you over, you're dead, or you're, you're not walking again or whatever. So take that as a, a fist. A fist hitting you is not, oh, it's a little fist. It's kind of like, oh, I hit you. I hear a punch, whack, whack. You could literally take metal and squeeze it. You could take an entire dumbbell, uh, a lifting weight, and crack it in half. You could literally go, eh, and bend it and crack it. And, and Thanos and Silver Surfer and people like that, they're stronger than that. They can cosmically blast you and they can... So I don't even know. I guess the, what's the point I'm trying to make? I, the power situation in this is just crazy in that... There's so much powers going on. There's so many fighters. There's so much going on. 
It's a fun movie. You'll enjoy Infinity War. Once again, no spoilers. There are no spoilers in this video. But I, I literally think like, you know, uh, I mean, there's, there's a villain in this movie who has the power of telekinesis. That's not a spoiler, but he, you'll see who he is. He has some telekinesis powers. I'm like, you know, why is it hard for him to just go click, throw a knife and it goes into your skull? Why can't he just get a knife or something that's a debris and go, you're dead. I threw it at you. Mm. So I don't know. But uh, Spider-Man was cool in this movie. I like Spider-Man. I like Thor. I liked, you know, Black Panther. I don't want to spoil it. I can't spoil it. But Black Panther doesn't even get used. Like in the, if you haven't seen the movie Black Panther, I guess that, that's the only, it's not a spoiler, but there's no screen time for basically a lot of people. There's only a certain number of people that get screen time. If you haven't seen the other uh, uh, Marvel movies, you have to watch them. You have to stop and watch every Marvel movie because if not, you might be caught up a little, but you're going to be like, all right, hey, I'm just seeing this person and boom, they're, they, we're going already. So yeah, but uh yeah, I know it's hard not to talk without spoilers, but I guess uh, I'm going to do a spoiler one uh, coming up uh, when the DVD comes out. I'll wait until the DVD comes out because you never know. People want to hear me talk about the movie. I haven't really said anything now. It's been uh, six minutes. I haven't said anything. Uh, I can tell you that what I liked about the movie was that it's epic. There's an epicness, but it still feels kind of like nothing happened. Like, I, you know, I think when I, I, there's a lot of hubbub about you know, the big things in the movie that happen, but it's like, nothing really happens that is like, like, I know that sounds dumb to say that, nothing happened, what are you talking about? But I was like, nah, you know, nothing compared to what we're going to see in the next movie, it's like nothing, you know, I don't know where they're going to go with this movie, but it was like, it wasn't, it wasn't, uh, it didn't blow me away. Lord of the Rings blows me away. I watch Lord of the Rings, I go, whoa, this is, this is an epic movie. Everything about Lord of the Rings is awesome. You see Infinity War, you're like, okay, they had to make moments so that it was a big movie. Otherwise, it would just been, you know, okay, this happened. Big thing happened, you know, stupid. So, yeah, I'm going to try, uh, I don't know, without talking about spoilers, I don't know, I'm not going to talk about it, but. I feel like there's nothing that happens in the movie other than the spoilers. If you if you if you've seen everybody talking about the spoilers, other than that, it's like, well, what the best part of the movie is when Drax, I'm not gonna spoil it, but Drax, Iron Man, and Star Lord say something to each other about Gamora. It's a Gamora line. I'm not gonna ruin it, but it was the best Gamora dialogue. It was so funny. It was and you probably read about it. Other than that, I was like, those, the Guardians are great in this movie. Now I'm going to talk about a couple of years ago, I sent the idea that the Guardians and the things that would happen in the movie and they kind of happened. And yeah, so I don't know, Infinity War, very, very, you know, I give it an eight. But uh, without going into this, without talking about spoilers, I just, I don't know. There's that, That's kind of the worst thing you can say about this movie. Empire Strikes Back is a movie. Everyone's like, oh, it's Empire Strikes Back. But Empire Strikes Back, even though Darth Vader reveals what he reveals, that movie's still awesome. There's still Yoda. There's still there's a storyline. There's it, That movie just is enriched by the ending. This movie, it's like, oh, there's a conclusion. And it's like, okay. Okay. You're just like, okay, the movie ends. Wow. Okay. Big deal. What do we care? Like, why do we really care? I mean, okay.